Okay. This is, this is basically the video about the quick swapping trick um, for the jewels too. Uh, start off on action mode here. That's where I have built up here is um, pretty hard to make. So basically, as you could um, see, like, let's, like, I can't really see it move right now. Um, so I'm making these um, swaps like this from the car from going down. Oh, just kind of some moves. Yep. Now this trick is really handy, and yes, I use this um, in my <laughs> um, video of 100 mil of where I got to 100 million points in action mode. Yes, I use this trick by the way. See, <laughs> it's right there. Um, so yeah, it's a very useful trick, I must say. <sighs> now, eventually, if, if you can master this trick really well, you can eventually max up the score with like one game I'm for sure got 800 million points, but then I accidentally clicked to no. Um, maybe I accidentally reset my game. Whoops. Yeah, that was bad. So, I'll eventually get that game back there. I'll, I'll, hopefully I can eventually get back up to that score and actually finish the game. My highest finished game though was like about 200, was like approximately 258 million points or something like that. Well, I know it was somewhere in between um, 250 and 260 million points. Um, yes, this trick was used. And so, action mode, even with the, um, this action mode here, um, it's going to take an extremely long time. Um, so the action max of the score, and it doesn't really look all that interesting. What is more interesting is, wait a minute. I just want to point something out. Um, when you're really far late game, you actually want to pause the game before going to the menu. Um, otherwise, if you look at my timer bar down at the bottom there, um, and I hit menu like this, no, it's not down. Pressure goes down a little bit there. So, hyper mode. Um, this works in this mode as well. Any time mode this trick works on. Hyper mode is the most interesting though. Um, I sometimes mess up while trying to start it up. Um, what you want to try and avoid doing. Because one, because if you make one um, mistake, if you're like extremely far into the game and you make one mistake, it could be all over. Now, if I come score there, um, well, I actually overflowed the score multiple times. Though so an interesting glitch that I've discovered be um, when you hit the hint button, um, like this so it takes the um, how it takes away some of my points there. It's five times the um, normal point scoring value. I'm pretty sure. But um, if the score, but it cannot go below zero, so we negative scores. So if your score is already negative, the game doesn't know what to do. Um, as the lowest value you're supposed to have when you hit the hint is zero. So um, it moves to it like um, moves your score all the way up to zero, um, which instead of subtracting from your progress bar, since you're getting points, you're adding from your progress bar like a whole bunch like a whole bunch of points on your on to your progress bar which um then eventually which then usually level completes you so um yeah that's pretty funny glitch yeah level 160 so hard to do but it's uh, obviously possible and yeah Yes. Yeah. The exact um, score you'll have when it rolls over is two billion one hundred forty-seven million four hundred eighty-three thousand six hundred forty-seven points when it rolls over. Um, that is just because this game is thirty-two bit scoring system, which then the maximum thirty-two bit number 
is 2,147,400,647, which then will cause this um, overflow. Oh. <laughs> um, also, this number causes the year 2003 problem, but this is def but this is not related to um, game one in this video in any way. Yes, looks off the and hang on also built the cascade. If you have a so yeah, it looks, yeah, um, yeah, like, the reason, um, why this, like, um, but apparently, um, it, when you make a match, um, like, it stops the timer during the match until it's finished, um, so if you make a match immediately after that, um, like, it's, if the timer stopped, which you can use to um, advance into the higher levels, um, which is which can allow you to pass um, those like late levels where you normally get to move over. Like let's say your best is level 12, then you're using this trick. You will notice that um, like you will have you have just passed level 12. Um, like if you use this trick, you do this trick correctly and say your record is level 12. You'll notice that you've just passed level 12 really fast. Like getting. And actually, the strip could be, um, be used um, to even, like, I can go through all the backgrounds as well. Um, <laughs> and all of these modes. It's a really. Actually, it's quite obvious that you never intended to max up the score. Um, as like when you loop around the score, you see a negative. You see like a negative sign, which so I think was like, I'm, which I'm guessing at one point they're gonna have the hands bring you um, below zero. I'm guessing, I think, and also um, until your score becomes. And also, when your score becomes negative, it, um, the um, one digit in the negative sign stretch part way out of the um, area where your score is displayed um, until you get to like negative until you um, pass negative one billion. And actually, the outside of these lines have I'm pretty sure like the same color that the white scores on, on the very edges, so, yeah, I think so. <laughs> must be because that's... Must be because of the frame of the numbers hover the it must be because of the numbers of the frame of the numbers the same color. I don't really know why, actually. <laughs> Not that's there. But I'm pretty sure like on the normal score systems is the same color, I'm pretty sure camouflage is something. Well, um, even with the strategy though, um, it's actually a bit harder than normal, um, to get those cascades. Um, well, but I, well, actually not harder than normal. 
I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm saying my words now. Okay, well, um, actually what I meant is like to um, increase your tasking, it's harder than just playing stop with the clock when you get, I think it's too incredible um, to cascade maybe. Um, so then after that, like I'm pretty sure that, um, <laughs> there's, um, like, it's actually easier to um, solve the clock. They continue this cascade thing. Of course, I still want to try and continue the cascades for as long as possible uh, because those actually are towards the stats. Play, you probably need to look at my stats right now. Scores. This cascade has 195. Biggest combo 62,400,000. Uh, 300. Whoa, I got a new record. I think I just got that. I think I got this first day, actually. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if this is in this video. Or I could just play with the rest of it. Yeah, he's where my comments were pretty stacked. Oh, that's just happened because I played the backdrop mode. Okay, I want to try something when I enter the game here. Now, exit. Oh, I want to try something. But I didn't work, and I think the timer is just went down a little bit there. Because there's like an extremely small amount of time to go down. But yeah, sometimes you can actually continue your task kids by going in there. Also, it's, um, <laughs> also if you're on an incredible one, um, the first match you get will start going excellent, 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 excellent. And then when you make another match, it goes back to, it goes to incredible. But you're still on an incredible cast cascade section. Get hyper in this one. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> Um, probably just because of like, yeah, um, I'm, I'm guessing it looks like a certain speed that, um, gems need to match the cascades to go up in this game, um, but then at the same time, um, like you can't swap multiple gems, um, at a time, um, so there's actually like a timer of when the gems need to be matched, um, and also, though the complement Though um, the different complements can be played, but um, each complement can only be played one time per match. But if you do this, you can have the complement. You can have the um, complement where it's the flex on incredible um, play multiple times. Except for good, that one can only play once. And it's very rare that you're only really good. And I'm pretty sure. Um, pretty sure it's actually like a little bit of luck for your good. Um, Well, try to complete this level. Yes, complete this level now. Um, just to show you, even with this trick, the levels could still be pretty long, on, even on hyper mode. With this, with the quick thought trick, um, the levels can still be pretty long. Actually, <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Oh. Oh, he's wow, that's bad. Oh, I wonder how close to level complete I am. Oh yeah, actually, um, I'm pretty sure this trick serves an alternate use in clock on even in the no on time even in the non timed mode. This trick does actually use an alternate use, which could be used to extend the levels length slightly. Uh, when you're basically level complete, it's actually keeps um, 
you can actually like um, keep swapping um, after you're done with and if you do it fast enough, which is when it's extremely hard to go fast enough to do it though, um, you can actually um, make a um, magical complete trigger. After the next match though, once we get struck again, um, they'll have a complete will trigger so you can't like prevent a level complete will triggering. And um, I'm pretty sure I've never lost on level 1 of any of Classic or Twilight mode. Um, that matter so um, actually I'm thinking that um, it might not even be possible to lose their um, so it's a good thing that um, you can still access the whole point this year otherwise probably won't be very long almost very fast and, uh, yeah but I think level one I have to like endless more always I think so but I'm not exactly sure what are you supposed to do if you ever lose on level 1 or on Phosphor Twilight mode? Of course, it's pretty easy to lose on level 1 of a time mode. Wow, how much longer is this level? See, we're all stupid for you. Uh, maybe it'll happen when I finally drop my cascade, but I'm not abandoning the cascade just to see that. Alright, never mind, I never been the cascade in a while, I still have more to go on this level. Yeah, if I'm thinking those, look at the timer down there. Level complete. <laughs> no, um, I want to try something. I'm actually going to charge him. Um, at max cast. Yeah, there we go now. There we go. Yep, that's on 400,000 now. So now I know I can use the 400,000. Oh, <laughs> oh, I should just show something funny before it ends off. I'm going to make the chance to do it. I'll also be using this. <laughs> Maybe I should do it. Yeah, I should do it. Could look pretty more interesting right now. Oh, ah, there's the thing I. Oh, I'm gonna Yeah. <laughs> um, 
Actually, it'll be better to see. Wait a minute. To have something. Yeah. There are a lot of light, but I see it. Um, <laughs> just basic glitch. <laughs> you can um, have when you can, like master power gem and hit menu, which will freeze all the um, pieces of gems. And then you could actually um, go onto this emote um, select screen. Um, and you can actually see the gem fragments falling down again. Well, this ends off my...